Spirometry is a basic lung function test that measures the volume of air that you can empty from your lungs in a single breath and how quickly that you are able to do so. A spirometer is a device that is able to record all the volume of air blown into it in liters over the time in seconds that it takes to do so. Measuring the volume of air that you can breathe out forcefully is important because obstructive airway diseases like asthma and COPD lead to narrowing of air passages within the lungs. This generally causes limitation of the amount of air that one can exhale and less limitation of how much one can inhale. Thus, it's usually more important to test how much and how fast you can blow out during exhalation. If done properly, this procedure gives an accurate and precise assessment of the presence and severity of airway obstruction. Spirometry is a more sensitive test of airway obstruction than physical examination or even a chest x-ray. There are three important components for performing a proper spirometry. Number one, inhaling deeply to your maximum lung capacity. Number two, holding the breath and sealing your lips around the mouthpiece of the spirometer before number three, blasting all the air out from your lungs into a spirometer as quickly and as completely as you can. The standard maneuver consisting of all these components, which almost everyone should be able to perform, is known as forced expiratory maneuver or FEM. The spirometer records all of the air that is blown into it during every instant of the maneuver and totals the volume up. Spirometry provides your doctor with two essential bits of data, FEV1 and FVC. The FVC stands for the force vital capacity, which is the total volume of air that you blow into the spirometer during the force expiratory maneuver, or FEM. FEV1 stands for Force Expiratory Volume in 1 second, which is the volume of air blown into the spirometer during the first second of the maneuver. Based on the magnitude of these two indices and the ratio between the two, your doctor will be able to tell if there is any obstruction in your lower respiratory air passages. If you do not have any airway narrowing causing obstruction to air flow, you should be able to exhale out at least 70% of air during the first second of the FEM. Thus, in a normal individual, the ratio of FEV1 to FVC is greater than 0.7. If there is significant airway obstruction, you will not be able to do so. In other words, the FEV1 to FVC ratio is less than 0.7. This is a sure sign of airway obstruction and can help your doctor to make a proper diagnosis of your lung condition. In addition, the doctor can determine how much the airway obstruction can be improved by comparing spirometry results performed before and after administering certain bronchodilator medication. You should gather by now that a spirometry test is indeed a very useful procedure. Therefore, it is essential that you perform the spirometry to the best of your ability in order to get an accurate result for interpretation.